Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about ES6i and a little bit about the networking portions of it. So if you see here, I've created a dev ad, uh, port group and it's got a VLAN of zero because the VLANs are happening on my router and switch so I don't have to have the VLAN in here, I'll just leave it at zero. If I was to put a VLAN of 20 in here and use the VLANs on my router, it would actually break and wouldn't work, I noticed. So what we're going to do here is take a look at the physical the physical NICs. So we have NIC 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm using NIC, uh, well, NIC 0 and NIC 3 right now. So what we would do is go to virtual switches, add a standard virtual switch, and then let's say I had uh, NIC 1 and I wanted to do a VLAN with it. Well, I could call this uh, dev test and we'll add that. Now we have that virtual switch there. So now we go into the port groups and we can create a actual <coughs> uh, interface, if you will. We'll call this this dev test. The VLAN ID. So if we were doing the VLANs in ESXi, we could go ahead and set up like the VLANs. We could do 20, 30, 40, whatever you want it. But from where I'm doing the VLANs on my router, we're not going to do that in this video. If I create a virtual router though, I can show you how that works later on. Uh, but we'll likely go ahead and do that in a later video. So we'll keep this as zero. And then we'll go ahead and add it. Well, change that to dev test, of course. Add it. Now what we could do is I, if I come here and I go to edit, you can see I have the network adapter. Well, that creates a new network adapter called dev test. So you can separate your network out by using the different adapters or the different uh, network ports on the network interface card, which will allow you to uh, separate your network out more. And uh, I'm not doing VLANs in the ESXi right now, but later on we will do that to show you how that would work. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.